But Sun Pharma is the stock in focus now. We have Amir Chalki of HDFC Securities joining in to discuss and to give his view on Sun Pharma now. Amir, hi, thanks very much for taking the time out. So first, approval for Sun from the Halol facility. How would you read it and uh, what are the lineup of products we can expect now? So it is a good start, uh, though I, I was expecting these approvals to start coming a little earlier. But uh, yeah, they have received the first approval. And uh, although this product is, uh, uh, is uh, the marketable, uh, uh, addressable opportunity is quite small, I think it is an NDA product and they will uh, market this product uh, in the U.S. And going ahead, we are expecting uh, uh, liposomal product approvals. Uh, then there would be a spark, uh, product launches from the Spark portfolio, which mm. will happen. Yeah, uh, that's actually what I was going to come to because it's actually Spark which has spiked up around 2 odd percent and that's uh, been the case all through this whole entire Halol issue. Um, Ellipsia, right, is expected to probably see the light of day soon? Yeah, there are two products. One is Ellipsia and the other one is uh, uh, Zelpros. Zelpros, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So those two are likely to be 25 to 50 million kind of opportunity for uh, Sun. Okay. But, uh, you know, Amea, um, Spark is down 26% year to date. Sun Pharma has also not done much after the recent rally. It's still down around 2.5%. I mean, it's still not making money in 2018 as yet. Um, how much of this news is probably already factored in, according to you? So, I believe Halol uh, resolution has already been factored in. Hmm. What is not factored in is obviously the surprise launches which could happen from the Halol facility. And there are uh, two, three injectable products which we are expecting, uh, which could be big enough to move the needle on the generic uh, uh, side. Hmm. And which is not factored in is obviously the ramp up uh, which is expected from the speciality side of the business. Okay. All right, uh, Amiya Garun, we're going to leave it on that note. Thanks very much for joining in and speaking with us.